tutorial video for the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise Series, where we will show you three methods for updating the firmware of the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise Series aircraft and remote controller. Please use the latest firmware version for flying. Updating the DJI Pilot 2 Make sure the remote controller and the aircraft are properly connected. When the remote controller is connected to the network, the app automatically checks whether the firmware of the aircraft and the remote controller needs to be updated. When a new firmware update prompt appears on the DJI Pilot app, tap the prompt to enter the update page, then tap Update All. During the update process, do not power off the aircraft or exit the app. It is normal for the aircraft to restart automatically during the update process. Do not turn off the aircraft. The firmware update is finished when an update successful prompt appears on the app. Offline Update Go to the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise Series official website download page and download the latest firmware package. Copy the firmware package into the remote controller. Launch DJI Pilot 2. Tap to enter the health management system. Tap Firmware Update. Then Offline Update. Select the update package and tap Update All. The firmware update will start automatically. To avoid damaging the device, please do not power off the aircraft, remote controller, or remove the remote controller micro SD card until the update is completed. The device will restart automatically after the firmware update is done. Updating the DJI Assistant 2 Enterprise Series. Connect the aircraft or remote controller to the computer using a data cable. Open DJI Assistant 2 Enterprise Series. Log in to your DJI account. Select the connected device. Tap Firmware Update on the left and wait to refresh the firmware list. Select the latest firmware and click the Update button. Do not turn off the power. Exit DJI Assistant 2 Enterprise Series or disconnect the data cable during the update process. The device will restart automatically after the firmware update is done. If the update fails, restart the device and try again. If the aircraft fails to update multiple times, please record the update failure code and contact DJI support for assistance. To our tutorial video for the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise Series where we will show you how to link the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise Series aircraft and remote controller. Power on the remote controller and the aircraft. Launch DJI Pilot 2. On the app homepage, tap Link Remote Controller or press C1, C2, and the record button at the same time. When the remote controller issues a beeping tone and the remote controller status indicator flashes in blue, you can start the linking process. Press and hold the aircraft power button for at least five seconds and release it after hearing an indicator tone. The power indicator light will show a moving icon, which means the linking process has begun. When the indicator tone stops and the status indicator light is solid green, the power indicator light stops showing the moving icon. And the app homepage shows the aircraft icon a name. It means the linking is successful. To our tutorial video for the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise Series, where we will show you the 4G Enhanced Transmission feature. Introduction to 4G Enhanced Transmission. The 4G Enhanced Transmission is the technology which combines OQSync Transmission and 4G Automatic Enhanced Video Transmission technologies. When OQSync Transmission has a strong signal, 4G Transmission maintains connection but does not transmit data. When OQSync Transmission is interfered, blocked, or weak because of long distance, 4G Transmission will be automatically enabled to start the Enhanced Transmission. 4G Enhanced Transmission will consume data. When fully relying on 4G transmission for transmitting data, the dongle in the drone and the dongle in the remote controller will consume a maximum of around 1 GB during a 30-minute flight separately. Installation of DJI Cellular Dongle Install DJI Cellular Dongle to the drone. Make sure a nano SIM card is inserted to DJI Cellular Dongle before installing the dongle. 
Install DJI cellular dongle onto the bracket, ensuring DJI logo is facing upward. Plug the connection cable in. Install the bracket onto the drone. Connect the connection cable to the port at the back end of the drone. Install the DJI cellular dongle to the DJI RC Pro Enterprise Remote Controller. Insert the nano SIM card that you purchased separately into the dongle. Use AH1.5 screwdriver to remove the screws. Open the cover by using the gap on the bottom left of the cover and then remove it. Connect the antenna cable inside the remote controller to the antenna port marked with a 4G symbol on the dongle. Place the dongle inside the remote controller, then push it to the right until it connects with the USB-C connector. Reinstall the cover and secure it with the screws. Enable Enhanced Transmission After the connection has been established between the drone and the remote controller via 4G, users can enable Enhanced Transmission on DJI Pilot 2. On the camera view of DJI Pilot 2, tap the 4G signal icon and enable or disable Enhanced Transmission on the prompt box. Or on the camera view of DJI Pilot 2, tap the Settings icon to enter the System Settings menu and then tap the Transmission icon, HD, and enable or disable enhanced transmission on the page. After enabling enhanced transmission, make sure to pay attention to the signal strength. Fly with caution. Tap the 4G signal icon to review the current signal strength of the remote controller and 4G transmission on the prompt page. Safety strategies. Based on safe flight considerations, the following are required. Requirements for 4G transmission networks. In order to ensure a clear and smooth video transmission experience, make sure that the 4G network speed is above 5 megabits per second. If the network signal of either the aircraft or remote controller is weak, has no signal, or is busy, the experience of 4G transmission may drop and lead to the video transmission freezing, a delayed response of the controls, loss of video transmission, or loss of controls. Therefore, when using enhanced transmission, Make sure to use the remote controller and aircraft in locations where the 4G network signal shown in the app is close to full for a better transmission experience. If the OcuSync signal is disconnected, the video transmission may lag and stutter when the aircraft relies fully on a 4G network. Fly with caution. When the OcuSync video transmission signal is poor or disconnected, make sure to maintain an appropriate altitude during the flight. In open areas, try to keep the flight altitude below 120 meters for a better 4G signal. For flight in the city with tall buildings, make sure to set a suitable RTH altitude. For flight in a restricted flight area with tall buildings, make sure to enable APAS. When DJI Pilot app prompts that the 4G video transmission signal is weak, fly with caution. Thank you for watching our tutorial video for the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise series where we will show you the geometric route feature. Preparation before use. The most recent firmware update for the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise series implements the geometric route feature, which supports mapping prism or cylinder shape structures, streamlining the process of creating detailed models for individual buildings. Please ensure that the firmware of the aircraft, remote controller, and app version are higher than the following versions. During the execution of the geometric route, ensure that the RTK function is properly connected. You can enable the Maintain Positioning Accuracy mode. Moreover, it is recommended to enable Vision Assist to monitor obstacles along the flight path, ensuring safe flight operations. In the home page of DJI Pilot 2, tap Flight Route. Tap Create a Route. Select geometric route and start planning a flight route. Set mapping area shape. Tap on map to draw bottom base. Depending on the specific circumstances, you have the option to draw on either standard or satellite map. Based on the projection of the object on the bottom base, tap the prism icon on the left to draw the polygon-shaped bottom base. Tap plus to add new boundary point, facilitating the planning of complex shapes. Tap the cylinder icon to draw the circular-shaped bottom base. Drag the cross icon to adjust the position of the bottom base. Drag the double arrow icon to adjust the size of the bottom base. At the same time, the app will display the bottom base area in real time at the top left corner. After completing the setting, tap the check icon in the top left corner to save. 
when there is no satellite map imagery available for the mapping area, or when the map accuracy does not meet the requirements for drawing, it is possible to use Pinpoint to plan the shape of the mapping area base. Fly the aircraft to the corners of the outline of the object being measured. Tap the icon in the top left corner to create a target point, and the app will record the location information of that point on the map. Repeat the previous steps to navigate along the measured object's outline and add target points at each corner. Tap the Flight Route Library icon, tap Create a Route, and select Geometric Route. On the map page, tap on each target point sequentially. The app will then automatically generate the shape of the bottom base. If adjustments are needed, you can drag the boundary point or tap the plus icon to create new boundary point for further planning. After completing the setting, tap the check icon in the top left corner to save. Set bottom and top base's altitude. Use the aircraft to maintain a constant altitude to ensure that the geometric height matches the actual measured object. Make sure that RTK positioning is enabled before use. Enter the camera view. Control the aircraft to fly to the bottom of the AR measured object and press the C1 button on the remote controller to establish the current altitude of the aircraft as the altitude for the bottom base. Control the aircraft to fly to the top of the AR measured object and press the C2 button on the remote controller to establish the current altitude of the aircraft as the altitude for the top base. If adjustments to the altitude of the geometric structure are necessary, fly the aircraft to the corresponding altitude and press the C1 or C2 button again. After completing the altitude setting, tap the check icon in the top left corner to save and the app will simultaneously generate the flight route. When the aircraft is not connected or RTK is not converged, the absolute altitude of the geometric top and bottom bases can also be manually set within the app. Adjusting Flight Route Parameters Enter the Flight Route Parameter Settings page, tap Adjust Mapping Area, and you can make adjustments to translate the mapping area and adjust altitude and shape. Sequentially set parameters such as GSD, Distance to Slope, and Safe Takeoff Altitude. Flight Route Direction supports two options, Horizontal and Vertical. Geometric Route supports capturing top-down images of the mapping object and the Include Top Base option can be enabled or disabled as needed. Set flight speed for lateral face, flight start point, and upon completion. Tap Advanced Settings. The side overlap ratio and frontal overlap ratio are set to 70% and 80% by default. Adjust as required according to the actual situation. The route coverage rate and rotation angle are set to 100% and 0 degrees by default allowing for a 360 degrees orbiting capture of the object. Adjust route coverage rate and rotation angle to realize mapping for specific face. Select photo mode. Set takeoff speed. Once the route parameters are set, tap the top left icon to save the flight route. Performing flight route mission. Tap the icon on the upper left corner to upload the flight route task. Check parameters such as RTH altitude, signal lost action, customize battery warning, and obstacle avoidance. Tap Upload Flight Mission after confirming there is no error. After successful upload, tap Start. It is advisable to perform the mission within visual line of sight. Always fly with caution. During the execution of flight route mission, Vision Assist can be utilized to observe potential obstacles in the flight path. The AE function can be used to lock in appropriate exposure values, ensuring consistent overall exposure throughout the route. When shooting at close range, please ensure that the camera is correctly focused. Based on the focusing situation, switch the focus mode to AFC. Once the mission has been completed, utilize the AR return to home route feature to identify any potential obstacles along the RTH path. Use the AR landing point feature to evaluate if the landing area meets the landing conditions. Safety precautions. It is recommended to set distance between route and geometric surface greater than 30M. Otherwise, satellite signal may be affected. It is recommended to set the RTH altitude higher than the highest point along the route. Mapping surface should be non-reflective and have rich texture. Avoid mapping glass walls. 
Make sure there is enough space when aircraft is performing missions. Avoid starting missions in areas with dense buildings or trees. Make sure RTK is working properly when checking flight details and during missions. Thank you for watching. Our tutorial video for the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise series, where we will show you how to use the RTK module. Installation and activation. Open the protective covers of the aircraft expansion ports. Install the RTK module on top of the aircraft. Tighten the screws on both sides of the module base. Power on the remote controller and the aircraft. Make sure the remote controller and the aircraft are properly connected. Launch DJI Pilot 2. Complete activation of the RTK module by following the prompts on the interface. using the custom network RTK. Go to the RTK settings page. Enable the RTK positioning function and set the RTK service type to custom network RTK. Fill in the information for the NT RIP host, port, user, password, and mount point. Tap on save to start connecting to the server. When the status bar shows RTK connected, RTK data in use, and the aircraft positioning is shown as fixed, it means that the RTK function is ready and you can start your flight mission. Using the DRTK2 mobile station. To use the aircraft with the DRTK2 mobile station, the mobile station must first be set up. After the device is turned on, press and hold the mode button. When the mode status indicator flashes once, it enters the mode switch rate. Short press the mode button to set the DRTK2 mobile station to broadcast mode. On the RTK settings page, see the RTK service type to DRTK2 mobile station. Tap to go to the mobile station connections page and select the corresponding DRTK2 mobile station to complete the connection. If the mobile station cannot be found, perform troubleshooting by following the in-app prompts. Go to the RTK settings interface and tap advanced settings to enter your password. Tap on adjust coordinates. Manually enter the current location information for the DRTK2 mobile station. Click OK and the system will save the current location information. When the status bar shows RTK connected, RTK data in use, and the aircraft positioning is shown as fixed, you can start your flight mission. Removal and storage. Power off the aircraft and remote controller. Unscrew the fixing screws. Remove the RTK module from the aircraft and firmly attach the protective covers of the aircraft expansion ports. Place the RTK module in the aircraft carrying case. Thank you for watching.